Hello and welcome to CloudChamp. So in the previous video, we talked about Amazon EC2 service and we looked what is EC2, what are the features of EC2 and the different components of EC2, including the instance types and security groups. So in this video, we are going to talk about the EC2 launch types or the different purchasing options that we can use to launch our instances. So the different options are on-demand instances, reserved instances, spot instances, dedicated host and dedicated instances so we will learn each of them and in the last i'll give you an excellent example where you will absolutely understand everything there will be no doubt on this topic this is an important topic comes into exam definitely a question on this topic you need to know this in detail so let's talk about the first instance launch type that is on demand instance so the on demand instance is you pay for the compute capacity by second with no long term commitments. So there is no long term commitment. You only pay what you use and you decide when to launch, stop, hibernate, start, reboot or terminate it. You have control over the instance. You can launch anytime. You can terminate anytime. There is no long term commitment. So the use case is short term irregular workloads that cannot be interrupted. So whenever you need an instance for short duration, you can use on demand and you can terminate it on your will. Most of the time we use on demand. Uh, so that's the on demand launch type. The next launch type is the reserved instance. So reserved instance provide significant amount up to 72% compared to the on demand. The only thing is you need to have reserved instance either for one year or for three years. You need to have this instance either for one year or three years and you can get up to 72% discount compared to the on demand. There are three modes of payment. The first is all upfront. You pay all the money to Amazon. You pay partial money that is partial upfront or no money. You can pay later on. But when you pay all upfront, you get more discounts. And the best, it is best for stable predictive workload. It is best for workloads that you know and because you need to select a specific instance type. There are three types of reserved instances. That is standard reserved instances where you cannot change your instance type. Next is convertible reserved instances where you can convert your instance type from let's say T2 micro to T2 small. The third one is scheduled reserved instances. So you can schedule your instances. Let's say you want your instance every Sunday or every day at five o'clock for one year or for three years. So you can use schedule reserved instances. The next is the spot instances. The spot instances enable you to request unused EC2 instance at steep discounts up to 90% and it is most cost effective. So the idea here is you can launch unused instances uh, at very low price by paying some fees that is up to 90% off compared to um, on demand. But if someone pays more than you, you can lose that instance. So it is best used for interrupted workloads, which are resilient for failure. Best use cases is the bad jobs, image processing, any distributed workload, which can be okay if it is interrupted. Next is the dedicated host or dedicated servers. So dedicated host is a physical server fully dedicated for your use. So you get the whole rack for yourself. You don't have any other customers apart from you, you are the only one who is using the whole server. So it is used for strong regulatory compliance requirements, the dedicated instance. So dedicated host and dedicated instance can be same. The only difference is you cannot control the hardware, underlying hardware, but there is only your instance, only you can launch in that server. No one else can launch in the server so that's a dedicated instance same as dedicated host but you cannot control your instance uh, i know this can be complicated but i'll create one more video where you where we will compare the dedicated host and dedicated instance uh, i'll link it here you can check it out so that's the difference launch type so let's take an example to fully understand what the different launch types are let's say you uh, when you use on demand, on demand it's something like you can stay and leave whenever you want. There's no long term commitments. It's you have the control. So on demand is like staying in a hotel and leaving whenever you want. 
reserved is something you planned when you plan to stay for a long time let's say one year or three year you get a discount same as reserved launch type and the spot instance is you stay for the night in cheap price this hotel has some unused rooms and it wants to give it to some customers at low price so it can give it to you for cheap price but someone but if someone pays more than you you will be thrown out of the hotel so same as spot instances you can lose your instance if someone pays more than you your price and the last is dedicated host where you book entire hotel for yourself no one else no neighbors so that is dedicated host so i hope you understood the launch type and the purchasing options if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and for more aws and devops videos please follow along and that's all have a good day